Let's take a look at this. Red Bull. Happy to announce. Oh, here we go. Oh, right here. Uh, announcing the world first, featuring Pieces Guild, Limit Guild at the Gaming Sphere, and eight guilds off-site, plus a high-quality 24-7 stream, 30-plus raiders on-site, and amazing casters. Find out more here, redbull.com slash world first. Good luck to all the guilds trying to get world first. Let's watch the video. Let's get hyped up. Who are the other raids? Who, who are the other guilds? AFK raiders. So there's literally no alliance guilds in this, right? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Okay, so let me, uh, let's look at what this is. Uh, pieces of Limit. Two of the biggest World of Warcraft guilds are coming to the Red Bull Gaming Sphere on July 16th to begin their quest to be the first to take down Queen Ashara, the final boss in WoW's latest Battle for Azeroth update. They need to fix that. That sounds completely like, this is like, who the fuck thought of this, guys? Like, what the fuck is this? It makes it seem like this is so disconnected. No, a Battle for Azeroth update. Like, update, it, it just sounds so disconnected from the community. At least try. What the fuck is this? Can't wait for Method to win. There's no way to say he's going to win. Uh, or Method's going to win. I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, let me see here. Update sounds like... Yeah, I mean, come on. Uh, it should say the final boss in WoW's latest raid. Uh, la latest raid, uh, Ashara's Eternal Palace or something like that. Um, for the Battle for Azeroth expansion. Like, that sounds a thousand times better. Okay. Pieces and Limit will be face-to-face -face at Red Bull Gaming Sphere. Their battle will be covered for 24 hours daily on a Twitch... On, on Twitch. Um, alongside highlights from rival guilds' attempts around the world until Queen Ashara is dead. Bookmark this page to see exclusive video highlights of the world boss kills and attempts while the raid is progressing. Uh, participating guilds include Aversion, Alpha, Fat Shark Yes, Scrub Busters, G Ting Hong... Honestly, Exorcist, and AFKR. So, all Horde guilds. I mean, we have some diversity here because they're bringing in EU and also Chinese guilds. But what about the diversity of factions? This is disgusting. Let's look at the rest of this. Uh, North American Guild Limit will kick off the raid at 4 p.m. They will be playing during U.S. raiding times. EU Guild will be playing their 8 to... Okay, so they're going to be alternating back and forth. Okay. Um... The action will be brought to you by world-class broadcast talent, including Rich W. Campbell. Automatic Jack. I can't pronounce your na your last name, Jack. I'm sorry. Um, Nagura. Probably should have said Caroline. Um, and then Jackie Peters. Okay. So Rich is actually going to be casting this. I, I, I thought that he was going to. Uh, he and I talked about this. Uh, I, uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to do it or not, but this is actually probably really good for him. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's see. Oh, Rich was defending Red Bull? Well, of course he'd want to work for them, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, don't care if it's Red Bull, you have one of the best guilds and it's streaming? Yeah, that's really what it is. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, Rich had here, well, shit, I can't, honestly, is Alliance, but it's Oceanic? Yeah, so they don't count. Uh, let, let's see here. Uh, going for world first is the most creatively challenging thing that any one of us ever has to do. Okay. Um, Rise of Ashara, WoW, Battle for Azeroth's 8.2 patch, launched on July 25th. Okay, so nobody gives a shit about that. Uh, Limit was the most successful PvP guild in North America, PvE guild North America. Um, came in second in the Battle for Dazara War raid earlier this year, and will be looking to go, uh, one better in Rise of Ashara. We've stepped up our game even more than before. Damn. What if he said, bro, we came into this, we really don't know what the fuck we're doing. I can't believe Red Bull's paying us for this shit, honestly. Like, most people haven't even done the raid yet. Like, what is the last boss anyway? You know, like, imagine him saying that. That would be so fucking funny. Would they even acknowledge another guild stream world first, uh, besides the promoted one stream? Uh, well, I don't know. It depends. Um, let's see. We stepped up the game in more. Guild your maximum. Uh, going for world first is usually the most great thing you can do. Easily, you're coming up with new strategies on the fly, but that's why we do it. Everyone has a lot of fun. Uh, after several tiers where we were placing them on the talking world out putting everything we had, a lot of us wanted to see how we'd do if we did. 
Lummel. Okay. Pieces roared to victory in the most recent WoW Mythic race back in May. The guild took down Mythic Unar um, in Crucible of the Storm's mini raid, becoming known as the team to finally dethrone Method as world first champions. Come on, guys. Dethroning Method, like... Method has been a world first guild for years. Like, just because one tier, like, Method is the best guild in the world right now. Just because one guild cleared a boss before them doesn't set, doesn't, it doesn't take away the, like, they've had over 10 world first kills. Like, I mean, I, I don't know, I feel like this is, I mean, come on. Like, I'm not a Method what fan. You, what do you think? They, you think they just put that in out of spite? Yeah. Just to spite Method? Yeah. Do you really think a billion-dollar company is that petty? Yeah. I do, too. I, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I think they are. Yeah, I uh, completely agree with you. Guild leader level told us that the Reptone and Fortune came as a result of hard work. Damn, oh, that's crazy. Can you believe that? Uh, after several tiers, we're placing among the top in the world without putting everything we had. A lot of us want to see how we do with it. This is like the sports interviews. So uh, you guys planning on winning this game? So what's the plan on the next quarter? Obviously, you're down by an hour points. You can try and get some more balls in the hole. So I guess the strategy this time is going to be run the ball down the field, right? So, run it down mid. Yeah. So you guys really came into this. You guys really want to win, don't you? Be like, no, man, I I, I don't want to win. Like, honestly, like, uh, what are you expecting to say? Like, th these like sports interviews are so bad. This is gonna be the most important world first or method for sure. Um, yeah, you're you're completely right. Uh, let me go back to the rest of this. Rare spawning and occult is on now. I don't know what that means. It's gonna be awkward. Never method wins first. I mean, what will Red Bull do there? Um. Okay, uh, and they will be putting in the effort again as they attempt to make it back-to-back. Back-to-back. World first. It's a lot of stress having to play this much before an event where you actually have to deliver. I don't think there's any other sport where you put in this much effort prior to the real competition. You know what? I don't know about that. I, I feel like the guys that play basketball and football probably practice more. I mean... People die practicing for fucking high school football from heat stroke. Let's be real. I, I, I think that, you know, maybe they're probably, maybe LeBron's putting in just a little bit more work. But hey, maybe not. Uh, let, let's not, let's not get into this. Okay, Twitch.tv Red Bull. There it is. Stay tuned. Okay. That's it. Stay tuned. More coming soon. Dude, I'm going to give them a follow right now. Oh. What do you even say I, about this? Red Bull's a poopy head? They sure are, man. I uh, honestly are gonna, yeah. hope that... Go ahead. I hope that Method wins just so it creates like a more awkward situation with more drama. Imagine, like, Rich, Rich is, like, there, you know, he's got his microphone. Uh, yeah, and he's just like, yo. Uh. So, we regret to inform you that... Looks like Method just killed Queen Ashara. Whoopsies. Oh. Uh, and that would be it, man. I, I can only imagine. I really hope that. Ha I hope that happens because it'll just be so fucking funny. But like, I, I I don't really. The thing is with like with like the the method thing and Red Bull. Like I, I didn't like how Method played it out to where it looked like kind of Red Bull didn't deliver what they said they were going to deliver, etc. And it looked like Method was like kind of like getting more out of it than they should have. 
whenever for one uh method agreed to to those deals and then two uh red bull paid all of the production costs right and and they produced the event entirely so there was compensation but it wasn't direct monetary compensation and, and also at the same time i don't like how red bull was trying to make it to where it was on their channel. I think that it's just a really bad marketing strategy. And I wish they talked to more people that are streamers that are in the community to give them a better insight and uh, a better direction on how to build their brand. Because I really don't think this is a, uh, I, I feel like this event would be so, this event would be amazing if it had, uh, uh, if it had method in it. Uh, I just don't know if that, you know, how can we ignore that method is far OS? Uh, method is going far OS. Then Red Bull to the people participating. Method straight up lied about shit. What? I, I I don't know. I mean, like, I, I, again, these are all contracts made by adults. Nobody's being forced into a contract. If people don't want to do it, they don't have to do it. I mean, Red Bull shill. Wait, am I a Red Bull shill? We're renaming the show to World First Race. Uh, it isn't really important. Well, I'm confused here. Chat knows the contracts between all parties, of course. Yeah. Not you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really... Rich? Wait, what, what about Rich? Rich isn't selling out. He's a he's a caster. Like, this is a job. Like, I know you guys might forget about this, but... He has a career. But you guys forget about that? Like, what do, what do you guys do? Like, every single time that your job does something that you don't like, you just quit? I, I mean, give me a fucking break. You just quit the job. Like, oh, well, I don't like the direction the company's heading in. Uh, yeah, I don't like the company's stance on abortion. I'm gonna just go, uh, I'm gonna quit the job. Give me a fucking break. Didn't you do that with Sam's Club? Yeah, I, I, I quit Sam's Club because it sucked. I didn't quit Sam's Club because they made people go on welfare to subsidize low wages. I don't give a fuck about that. I give a fuck about the fact that they didn't want me to sit down. What do you mean? Most of your viewers never had a job. Yeah, I mean, that that must be it, I guess. A anyway, we can go ahead and go back and forth on this a hundred times. But the point that I'm making here is this is just... it. Th this is what happens whenever negotiations are... Made public. To an extent, uh, negotiations don't go the way that they should go.